I'm JD and welcome back to my channel. I am currently nap trapped in the car. Of course, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought I'd go ahead and film this and just get it out of the way. So I wanted to talk today about Wattpad, what it is, why I use it, my whole history with it. For those of you who don't know about Wattpad, Wattpad is a website. It is a social media site for writers and readers. It's free to use. You sign up, you can upload your writing, readers can sign up and read writers writing. You can vote, you can comment, there's a ranking system, you know, there's a whole forum section. There's, there's a lot of different options on Wattpad. I have been on Wattpad for over 10 years now. I signed up, it even says right on my profile, since August of 2009. And that's a long time. That's over 10 years now. And a lot's changed. Wattpad, the whole site, you know, there's been updates and progress. And, you know, the ranking system changed. That was a big deal. And so the fundamentals are still the same. Writers can put their work up there for readers to read. And sometimes people get noticed. It, it happens. Yeah, I, I, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, one of the biggest questions I get whenever I put my... Uh, whenever I say, you know, I've got my stuff on Wattpad, you know, people are like, oh, aren't you afraid people are going to steal it? I'm like, well, people could go out and steal Twilight. And it doesn't mean it's going to, like, what are they going to do with it? So posting your work to Wattpad, you get, you keep the copyright. It, Wattpad does not have any right to your work when you put it up on Wattpad. You can take it down whenever you want. You can put it back up. You keep the copyright. Um, you can put stuff up there as Creative Commons and then it adds that Creative Commons badge to it, but that's all controlled on the writer's back end and uh, you control the rights to your work. Now, another thing that's often said to me when I mentioned that I'm on Wattpad is like, well, what about publishing? Don't you want to publish this work? Or, you know, aren't you afraid you're not going to be able to be picked up by an agent? Well, first, I, I'm an independent author. I, I'm not looking for an agent currently. I'm not looking to traditionally publish these works. This website, Wattpad, has given me a fan base to grow and now that fan base has been asking me to publish these works. So it's like now I know I've got 1,400 people out there that want my work. They follow me on Wattpad. They, you know, they comment, they share, they interact with me. It's great. Having the Wattpad fan base has been amazing. Yes, it's a different way of going out there and putting yourself out there. You don't get paid for your work on Wattpad as a regular user of Wattpad. I will say that there are programs built into Wattpad to help writers. The more popular Wattpad writers get picked up for a program called uh, the Wattpad Stars where they can earn money off of the ads within their stories. There's also Wattpad Studios which will pick up works and again it's not like a oh, Wattpad has the work. They approach you as the writer saying hey we think your story is great. We would like to publish it as a book. Um, we would like to go ahead and traditionally publish your book or hey we know some producers that are looking for this this and this and your work applies to that would you can we put you in contact with them and stuff like that and that's kind of what's happened um there's one book that comes to mind that was on Wattpad originally called After you've probably heard of it it's a big it was a big thing it's a movie now but yeah After was originally a Wattpad fan fiction I think I'm not going to, don't hold me to that. I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, it, it was originally a Wattpad story and that's, and that's the thing. Big studios and companies are coming to Wattpad to hold contests and whatnot. Uh, I know AMC came to Wattpad to do a, uh, Walking Dead contest, but they do that. The CW has been on Wattpad doing a contest. There's tons of companies and studios and networks that go to Wattpad to hold these big contests. And they, they tend to be like writing uh, short story contests. Check out the Wattpad site for all the current contests that are running right now. So it's not like you're losing any out by participating on Wattpad. In fact, I feel like when you 
post your work to Wattpad and you start gaining a, a following and traction there, you actually have a built-in reader and fan base. You have people you can go to to see if things work or not. And you can kind of experiment. And especially if you're just starting out writing, you can try and find what your niche is and what your your voice is before you go out and start publishing or you know trying to find an agent right away when you're still trying to learn and grow as a writer so it's great in that uh, effect now i will say that some genres do way better on wattpad than other ones do romance is a big big genre on wattpad paranormal does really well and that fan fiction does really well on Wattpad. Some harder genres to break into on Wattpad that they just, there doesn't seem to be a lot of are things like fantasy and uh, sci-fi. Unfortunately, it just, that's just kind of how it happens, I think. And I think that has, speaks a lot to the demographics. I feel like when you're looking at certain things on Wattpad, all you see, is, it seems like there's a lot of like high schoolers and um, young college age kids on there. But then when I go back and look at like in the back end, you can see the demographics on who's reading your story, whether what age groups are really focusing and voting on your stories and what, what genders and what all that kind of information is kind of on your back end in the writer's portal. You know, I see, you know, I'm getting a lot of like the 18 to 40 age groups. <laughs> it's like, it's all over the place. But, but stuff like that tells me that I feel like my stories, while they may be targeted to some of the younger crowds, they're enjoyable for all ages kind of thing. So there's that. It's just nice. There's, there's so many cool things about Wattpad that it makes it hard not to enjoy the experience and to really grow as a writer there on that platform. Some things I feel that get forgotten about Wattpad is it is a social media site. You have to interact with people. You can't just post your work and leave it and come back a week later and like, oh, I have no reads on my work. Why? Well, you just create your profile. Nobody knows it's there. When you're just starting out on Wattpad, what you really want to do is maybe post a work or two, get some of those stories started. And once you've figured out the tags and what their genres are, whatnot, Wattpad should generate some similar stories. Like if you go into the, if you go into read your story on the sidebar, it says similar stories to this one are, and it will pull up, um, stories from the same tags or from the same genre and you want to go and read those and comment on those because people who have commented on those it will then start suggesting those stories to other people as well if you go and read and comment on those stories then those authors are going to see those comments and they're going to go oh i'm going to check you out and they look and it's like oh you have stuff that or that is similar to what i've written I like reading what I've wrote, so I'm going to read your stuff too. And that's how it grows. It becomes like, as you connect with other readers and fans and people follow you and you follow them back, it just starts to build and build and build. So Wattpad is definitely not a overnight sort of thing. Like have a tweet that goes viral and all of a sudden you're huge. You, It's definitely something you have to build in and work on and be consistent with to gain any sort of traction and momentum on the site. So when you're posting your work to Wattpad, sorry about the shaky. So when you're posting your work to Wattpad, what you really want to do, definitely get ahead. Have your story that you're going to post there, whether it's a short story or a novel, get it m nearly almost done. That has definitely been one of the hardest parts that I haven't kept up with is a lot of my stories are incomplete right now because I am writing chapter by chapter and then I post it as I have a chapter ready. And that is very hard to keep up with when you're writing a chapter a week. And I know because life happens and you get nap trapped in a car. Uh, like I hate, like I, I, don't know how she can sleep like that, but I'm not going to wake her up because she is a grouch. But yeah, it's like you have to be consistent with it. So when you're, you want to get a good chunk, get like the first three chapters done 
or the first three sections you're going to upload of the story, post it, put those all in in one day. And then I wouldn't update a story more than once a day and, but no less than once a week. That seems to be the sweet spot. Some people post like three times a week, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Thursday, Friday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Right now, my Will of the Witch story on Wattpad is updating. I'm trying to update it every Friday. I've made it two Fridays in a row. Yay. But it's been really crazy. So it's like, if, if I had them already done, then I could easily go just hit publish on the right days and it would done. Would do. That's one thing I don't like about Wattpad. I wish, I really wish they had a, a scheduling, uh, a way to schedule their, the posts to go live on certain days, but they don't have anything like that. Interact with your fans. If someone follows you, you know, thank them for following you. Uh, if they comment on your work, reply back to their comment. If they vote on your work, thank them for their votes and stuff like that. That really helps. Also, you could check out uh, on Instagram. There's a lot of hashtags for Wattpad authors, the Wattpadders. There's you know writers of Wattpad um, and stuff like that. And so, posting to Instagram on those hashtags can be helpful as well. Other than that, just make sure your work is mostly clean. I feel like. Wattpad readers tend to be a little more forgiving of typos and stuff, especially if you can get them sucked into the story. Some will point out inconsistencies and stuff like that, and some readers just will just drop you if, if it's too much. But yeah, so there's that too. I'm trying to think of what else I can say about Wattpad. I enjoy it. Um, I've had some success there, I feel like, and I'm trying to get back into posting and interacting regularly for my Wattpad fans and whatnot. So um, my biggest story is Legacy of the Necromancer, which I am getting ready to publish. That feels so just kind of crazy. Oh my God, I wonder, can you hear her snoring back there? Oh my God. Legacy of the Necromancer was originally a short story I wrote for a anthology I had been invited to be a part of. Unfortunately, the anthology kind of fell out, but I was left with this story that was really awesome. And so I took that short story and I turned it into a novel and I expanded it and I kind of fell in love with it. And so in December of 2015, I started posting that to Wattpad and over the next two years it took me I don't know I guess is over the next course of the next year and a half I updated with chapters and finished it in ooh, I think it was June of 2017 that I finished writing uh, Legacy of the Necromancer and finished it on Wattpad marked it complete since then I've been tinkering it with it I had it go through another round of critique group one of the reasons why I held off publishing it right away after I finished it on Wattpad was because I had wanted to go through and do an in-depth edit. I wanted, there was subplots I wanted to flesh out. There was um, a few inconsistencies, which I am definitely going to go and fit, fix before I publish, but there, I really thought I could go back and edit it and like give it a really good, huge edit makeover. But as the time has gone on, I've realized how much the story has kind of taken on, taken on a life of its own, especially on Wattpad. There's so many readers that come at, come back and they're like, I love this. I, I, I want to have it. Like I want it published. I want to, I want it on my shelf. You know, they love the story. They love it as it is. And I feel like going through yeah, I could make it better, but I'm changing it from what it is and what everybody already loves it as it is. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I am going to go through and I'm going to edit the consistencies, the inconsistencies, and I'm going to edit like the typos. There's been a few typos and stuff, but otherwise I'm just going to leave it as a learning experience. It's proof of how much I've grown as a writer. That's where I started. So I'm just going to leave it as is, but hopefully it'll get better and my writing will get better and my readers will like me better for it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. But anyway, so I have, uh, so like the sea of the necromancer, I just got the new cover ready back from my cover artist this week. So it's getting close. 
I've just got to, like I said, go through, edit those few things, and then compile it for ebook and print. That'll be my first book I've published in print, and I'm kind of excited about that. So anyway, I am still working on Will the Witch Witches, the, wow, say that like 10 times fast. Uh, I am still working on Will of the Witch, which is Legacy's sequel. Um, I'm still, I feel like I'm a little over halfway, but I've been slowly posting that to Wattpad for the last year or so. I guess maybe two years. I think I've been working on that for the last two years, actually. But it's been slow. I kind of slowed down while I was working on Frostbite and some of the, my American Blood novels. So I've kind of like flipped gears. I'm working more on Will of the Witch right now and then working less on the American Blood. But hopefully I will also have Frostbite ready to go soon too. I think, yeah. So, but anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Wattpad today. And I know some people have, you know, people have always come to me, like ask me questions about Wattpad and stuff. And, you know, it's just kind of like luck of the draw. You got to be consistent with it. You got to make sure you got you hit the right genres and the right tags on your stories. Be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. That is like the biggest thing. Your readers have got to know you are going to continue on. And then covers tend to help too. The eye catchy covers. You can easily put a cover together in Canva. Actually, Canva even has pre made templates for Wattpad covers because so many people use it to make Wattpad covers. Yeah, so that's that's really all there is about Wattpad. It doesn't lessen your chance of getting an agent or selling your work later on because you have complete copyright control. You can take it down or you can put your stories back up however you want to do it. So anyway, I want to know what your experience is with Wattpad. Do you enjoy the site? Do you like reading on it? Have you posted work to there? If you have, if you do have a Wattpad account, let me know in the description below and I will follow you on if you give me your handle down below. On Wattpad, I am of course Satula and you can find me. The links are in my description below and I will see you guys next time. Peace, love, and happy writing. I feel like my thoughts are really scrambled on this.